All right, I get it. Custom keyboards are too expensive. But what if I told you they don't have to be? Howdy, hey, I'm Hippiotech, and in order to save you the most money possible on Black Friday, I've compiled a list of the best Black Friday deals on keycaps, switches, keyboards, and wait, is that an $8 desk mat? What? But that's not all, because I'm gonna have something for every single price bracket, from a $20 keyboard to $20 keycaps even. And the best part is I'll have all of it linked down below. Now, if you're new to custom keyboards, there's a wide spectrum of stuff available, from customs that you need to fully build yourself, to pre-builds, to a bunch of different parts that don't make any sense, but don't get stressed out, I'm here for you. First, I'm gonna be starting with some sales that are much more approachable for anyone just getting into keyboards, and that's Keychron. Keychron makes what I like to call the good enough keyboards, as they are good enough for basically everything, but they aren't perfect, as they're usually lacking some more premium features or more premium quality. However, with some of the deals that they're running for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, that makes them a little bit more enticing. Now, starting off on the more premium side, we have the Keychron Q Pro series. And specifically the Keychron Q1 Pro, which is a fully built 75% keyboard that supports VIA, which is a software that lets you rebind things. It's got a few switch options with the reds and bananas being linear and the browns being quote tactile. And for 160 bucks fully built and 143 bucks bare bones, which means you need your own keycaps and switches, it's a pretty decent value. However, if you're a little bit less picky, then I'll have other options that are cheaper later in this video. Now, if 75% isn't your layout, Keychron has, God, like 30 different versions of their keyboards, but I recommend you stick within the Q and Q Pro series. Unless, as we're about to talk about, you're okay with plastic. Because the Keychron V series is their budget, budget, budget series, at least, budget that's actually good. Now, for my personal recommendation, the Keychron V1 in bare bones for $51 is an incredible value if you just want to get into building your first keyboard, but you don't want to commit too hard. If you need a numpad or anything, look at their V6 or Q6. Keychron also has a bunch of accessories and keycaps that are on sale, which I recommend checking out. However, a lot of them are selling out really fast, so I have no idea what of them will be available by the time this video goes up. Now, for the members of Budget Gang, or members of people that just want keyboards that look a little bit different, let's check out some of the Epo Maker sales, as there's some very interesting stuff going on here. Now, full disclosure, with a lot of these brands, I'm using paid affiliate links, and some of them have been my sponsors in the past, but none of them reviewed this video, and all of my thoughts are my own. Now, a similar competitor to the Keychron V1 would be the Epo Maker TH80 Pro, which is as cheap as $56 right now. Also, if you want custom cables, they have some cheap cable as cheap as 20 bucks. However, that is not all. Do you remember my silent keyboard video? Well, that keyboard is as cheap as $98, which I know is not on the budget side, but for a fully built keyboard that's perfectly quiet, that is pretty good. They also have a keyboard that looks like a bongo cat, which is kind of incredible. Granted, I have not tried it and the EpoMaker EK68, which is basically the GMK67 that I looked at in my last video, just pre-built. Now, normally it's a little bit on the pricier side, but for 75 to 76 bucks, it's definitely worth considering. Check out my full video in the top right. But that's not all, because EpoMaker has stuff like their Wisteria switches for 10 bucks a pack, their Matcha keycaps for $25, a numpad that's dedicated for 40 bucks. And I just realized I'm gonna have to put like most of this on the screen. So I should really just stop, I should stop. Also at this point in the video, you're probably wondering, Hippio, you're listing all of these things, but which one should I actually get? And that's the thing, because the keyboard hobby is so incredibly preference-based, I can list you all of these options and tell you their pros and their cons, but really ultimately it's gonna come down to what you prefer. Now there is some sense of urgency here because it's a Black Friday sale and you know it ends in a couple days, but I recommend you watch some videos and read some reviews and try and form your own opinion before you just go needlessly buy. Basically, just because something is cheap doesn't exactly mean that it's a good value, especially depending on your own preferences. But anyways, that brings me to my next option. Also, I'm sorry this video isn't as flashily edited as normal. I got sick halfway through filming it, so I had about a day to make it. But 82% of you said that you wanted to see a Black Friday video this week, so I'm making it happen instead of uploading a backlog. So please, please leave a like. 
This one is pretty quick, but if you want a keyboard that's very silent and a 75%, then Varmilo is running a, what I think is a 26% off sale on the Bluebell keyboard, which is the silent keyboard that I looked at. Also, until Tuesday, they're running a 10% off all keyboard sale, which is pretty good if there's anything that you've been considering from them, so maybe take a look at their site. Personally, I think Farmilo makes some of the most visually interesting keyboards, however, they aren't very modding friendly. So if you're someone that likes to take apart your keyboard a lot, then something like the Bluebell is not gonna be for you. Now, at this point of the video, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Hippio, you haven't showed me anything on Amazon or anything on Best Buy. But actually, a lot of the deals that I've been talking about are available on Amazon, and I'm gonna have my Amazon shop linked down below so you can shop those deals there. As far as Best Buy goes though, there's really not that much. There's like a ROG Azoth. So like if you're trying to find links for somebody to buy you Christmas presents, Amazon's probably the best option, but some of these other websites are really good too. They're just not as trusted. Now, speaking of Amazon, there's about three deals in this video that I consider to be the best possible deals. And that brings me to Womier or XVX. Now, Womier makes a bunch of rebranded cheap keyboards. However, Unlike a lot of companies that just rebrand a keyboard, smack their name on it, and charge 30 bucks more, Womier tends to keep their prices relatively the same with OEM stuff, so they bring in a lot of really cool stuff from China, smack their name on it, and keep it cheap. One example of this is the Womier SK71, which, if you want a 65% keyboard, is the best sale of the year, period. Now, generally this keyboard hovers from 100 to 85 bucks, but right now on Amazon, it's as cheap as 76. Now, I've made a full video about this keyboard, which you can check out, but it's a 65% keyboard, it comes fully built, that means switches, keycaps, already included, and it also sounds remarkably good. Like, listen to this. However, with just a few mods, you can make it sound even better, so that's why I consider this to be one of the best beginner keyboards out there. Now, if you're on a crazy, crazy budget and you want a bit of a project, the Womier 60% is on sale for 33 bucks as a fully built keyboard. Now, their 60% is a lot lower quality than their 65%, so honestly, I recommend you save up double the money and buy the 65% instead, but if you can't save up because the sale ends in a couple days, then yeah. I do have a video where I tried to mod this keyboard and it ended up sounding good. However, it did break. So check out my Amazon modding keyboard challenge. Oh, yeah. Now here's a deal where it's worthwhile to go off of Amazon. Seadoo is running a 15% off store-wide discount until Cyber Monday. And with their V75 and V65 keyboards, they recently took the cake for some of my best budget keyboard recommendations. Now, granted, I say best a lot, but a lot of these are the best. It just depends on your preference for which one is the best for you, at their respective price points, I should say. Their 75% keyboard has a screen if you go bare bones, which is really nice, or a knob if you go fully built, which is a really, really good value. Oh, yeah. Speaking of good value, Monsky keyboards never go on sale, but they're running a 20% off sale through Cyber Monday, so I'll have that link down below. The Monsgeek M series is always a good option. However, they also have a new line of Hull Effect keyboards, yeah, like the Wu-Ting, which I'll be checking out soon. But let me just say, they're pretty good. Provided my math is correct, this means you can get the Monsgeek M1 for around like $80, which is a really, really solid value for a full aluminum keyboard. It's also worth noting that Akko's also running a bunch of sales on Amazon, like their Switches and their Mod 007, so check those out as well. Now's also probably a good time to mention that I'm doing a Black Friday sale. The first 50 people that use the code that you see on screen right now will save 10% off my merch store. Now, that means 10% off my desk mat, 10% off my keycaps, Hippio Caps Jungle, which, by the way, is an incredible keycap set. Oh, and did I mention Howdy Hat? Howdy Hoodie? Howdy Shirt? What? I'm doing a limited time merch drop that is 10% off right now, which you could check out down below. Like, you can literally just click the View Products button that's baked into the video. But this merch line is going to end by the end of the year, so make sure you get it fast. I wanted to make clothing that you'd actually wear in public and not feel like you're embarrassed to wear, so 
typical YouTuber merch didn't really work. So I did this super cool retro Howdy Hey design with Leg Dad, the beautiful artist, and I hope you love it as much as I do. Now, before I get into the final deals, I did mention that there was going to be a $20 keyboard, so I think I should probably share that now. For $23.99, you can get the Mage Gee Portable 60% keyboard on Amazon. Now, this is the most basic, hot swappable kind of keyboard that you could possibly buy. It's not great by any means. It's like it's it's really not great but it's also $23, so you get what you get. I also have a video on this, which is I upgraded the cheapest keyboard on Amazon, so you don't have to. Oh, yeah. Now, let's talk about switches and keycaps. Mellatrix, the creators of the Zoom series of keyboards, is running 10% off switches, 15% off keycaps, and if you spend 300 bucks, you get a box of Mirandi switches for free, although that's probably not the cheapest way to get switches. Also, if you really want in-stock keycaps, Drop.com is running some pretty spicy sales from 20 to 35% off. They also have some batches of switches like Oil Kings or Aqua Kings for 19 bucks. Officially licensed Lord of the Ring keycaps for as cheap as 90 bucks for if you have any friends that like Lord of the Rings. And my personal favorite keycap deal would be DSA Astrala Keys because they are just the prettiest keycaps out there. Like I wish I made something this pretty. Speaking of keycaps and switches, Kinetic Labs is running 10% off all of their double shot PBT keycaps like Whale and Seal. However, Kinetic Labs also has some very spicy stuff up their sleeve, like some of their accessories are 50% off and some of their desk mats are 65% off. And like, not just the bad designs too, the good ones, the ones that actually look kind of nice, like you'd actually put that on your desk. So if you've been putting off getting a desk mat, it might be time to try it out. There's also sales going on at Novel Keys, Keeps for All, OmniType, and other keyboard vendors. However, I didn't get those ahead of time, so I can't tell you exactly what they are, but I recommend you check them out as well. But now, what if you want a keyboard that looks really cute, but also relatively affordable? Well, Dust Silver, the creators of the Dust Silver Lilac, which is one of my most popular shorts ever, is running 20% off all Otemu switches and 15% off all Gateron switch keyboards. Personally, I do not recommend you get any of the Otemu switch keyboards as the Gateron switches are just that much better, but some of the really cool ones might be their Melon or their Lilac or their D66. They've got some very good value budget keyboards that also look incredibly unique. These aren't like knock your socks off sales, but if you've been thinking about them, then that makes them a little bit easier to buy. Speaking of buy, that's the whole video. So, bye.